Hi Gemini, welcome back. The next eight cards will be um, having a look into how your relationship will be and the next four after that we'll have a look at any um, what they're wanting as well. So we'll look into the obstacles also. So Gemini, this relationship... Okay, starting off with the Six of Pentacles. Now, considering you have the Five and the Six of Pentacles, I'm going to say that there's a lot of um, one-sidedness going on in this relationship. The Six of Pentacles can indicate um, generosity, absolutely. But I also feel like um, equality is going to be very, very important in this relationship. I think in a lot of ways this person does mirror you. But I'm interested to see that for some of you, this relationship, I, I think someone is going to be very generous with their time and energy and love, absolutely. But I see that oftentimes you'll feel a little bit left out in the cold. Now, that's because of maybe emotions are not shared. I feel like the two of you are, are similar in the sense that you're very much up in your head. And as a result, emotions aren't always expressed or articulated. And sometimes it's just this feeling of presuming and going to bed angry and going to bed unsure about where your relationship is going or how they're feeling because you're both possibly in this same boat here. And I just want to say to you um, as a disclaimer here, I think, uh, you know, the balance is so important that you have a balance, that there's reciprocity involved in this relationship because I can see there's possibly one-sided generosity. Look, as a whole, there is generosity here. So I think there's generosity between the both of you, um, which can eventuate. But with the Five of Pentacles, I'm inclined to say that someone will feel not as connected to the other. Um, and I don't know if it's you or I don't know if it's the other person that you'll be dealing with. But the Five of Pentacles, sometimes you feel like this person isn't letting you in as much as you'd like. That you feel a little bit shut out of their personal life, of what's happening around them. Maybe they're not revealing too much. Maybe they're just really busy with work or career or finance. And they're not revealing too much to you, Gemini. And I feel like this is going to plague you. I do. I see that it could potentially lead to emotional breakdowns or upheavals. The moon card, the choppy water, the water is emotion. The two towers that are opposing each other and are both intimidating each other. And the moon um, emotion that stands in between, this push and pull energy, the tides. So I honestly feel like sometimes the relationship will be going quite smoothly. But other times there's emotional upheaval for the both of you with the moon card. This is cancer energy. So this is attachment. Someone is definitely going to form more attachments than the other. Um, is what I'm seeing with the moon card. But I'm seeing that the two of you have potential to fall in love with each other, which is quite powerful. Again, the, two, the, the, the towers are the same distance. They're the same height. So again, the two of you are capable of offering each other the same thing. I'm just wondering why you won't be able to. There must be some sort of block. And I do believe it's the fact that someone's got their walls up. Someone's feeling defensive. Um, and as a result, leaves the other one sort of out of the loop. So the other one's always thinking, well, where's this going? Where is the direction? You know, sometimes I'll feel like you'll be pulling the short end of the sticky gems um, during this relationship. But the moon card also rules creativity. So I feel like this person is quite thoughtful during the relationship and is considerate of your emotions. But sometimes I think they just grow a bit, you know, it's almost like there's a barrier or a block. And I don't know if this is because of this person's past. They did come up as the emperor and sometimes the emperor isn't too revealing. Um, he can be quite discerning. So I'm wondering if this person is holding back because they don't want to hurt you or they themselves don't know how they feel or maybe they aren't even aware of how they're coming across. Um, but it might just be in their nature. Um, you know, it might just be in their makeup that this is the way they are. But I can see that you'll be questioning this. Um, you know, the Nine of Swords. I'm seeing that, I'm not sure if this is in relation to distance, if this is a long distance relationship for some of you, but I feel like sometimes you'll be in bed alone just wondering either missing them or wondering where this relationship is going. I feel like, you know, this is you feeling disorientated or this other person feeling disorientated. But it's also, it could be that you miss them so much, you know. So maybe there is a lot of um, very strong attachments that are being formed and then you can't be without them. I almost feel like you'll be thinking about them a lot, Gemini. They'll definitely have a lot of influence over you is what I'm seeing. Um, the Hierophant is here also. This is Taurian energy. 
is, is traditionally seen as the married card. So for some of you, there is possibly marriage on the table or very long-term commitment with this person, marriage engagement, or the promise of marriage from this person with the Hierophant. Again, elevation. One person is going to be higher than the other. One person is going to be more dominant in the relationship or controlling the pace of how this relationship develops. Because the other people, you can see, look to this person here. So I feel like someone is in control. There's definitely one person that has the upper hand in this relationship. And the other is sort of just going with the pace here. Again, I'm not sure if it's you or if it's them. It won't apply to everyone's relationships. But for some, there is the notion of someone being more higher than the other. Um, it's almost like that they're in control of the pace. And you're sort of going along with it, um, with the Hierophant energy. But it is respect and reverence. Um, so I do think there's a mutual respect there, absolutely. Um, with the Hierophant, you know, and it can lead to something very beautiful, yes. Um, the Hierophant points to spirituality or religion. So for some of you, spirituality and religion will bring you closer together uh, or will help you explore your connection or your relationship even more. Um, but possibly marriage or buying a home together. There's a set of keys, buying a home together possibly as well, investing in business opportunities or having your own business together too. The Four of Cups is here. You had the Four of Cups with the um, with the priestess, the mermaid. You saw her reflecting. Her reflection was in the water. So I feel as though this is something that's going to teach you a lot of life lessons. The Four of Cups is all about illumination. It's about something making sense, piecing together the puzzle, adding the last piece of the puzzle. I feel like this person is going to change your life in a big way. The reason I say that is because they're adding something to your life. You already feel complete here, Gemini, but this person is going to come in and add lots more into your life than you ever thought possible. So I like the energy they're coming in with. And I also feel like you'll learn a lot about yourself because this is you sitting at the tree of life. And it's learning about you know, this relationship, whether it lasts till marriage or not for some of you, this relationship is definitely one you're going to take a lot of lessons from, is what I'm seeing with the Four of Cups. Moving on, you have the Magician Aries energy, strong Aries energy in this chart. I feel like with the Magician's energy, this is a card of manifestations, um, communication, and natural affinity. I definitely feel the two of you have a natural likeness to each other and I think this is going to help you in some ways the magician can manifest things very quickly so I think in some aspects for some of you this relationship will develop over a very quick amount of time I also feel with the magician things can happen almost instantly um, sudden engagements sudden departures um, suddenly feeling really left out feeling clueless about what this other person is thinking you know sudden generosity suddenly sudden acts of generosity it brings upon something very swiftly, almost overnight. In general, the magician is a beautiful energy. It shows that there's a lot in your repertoire, that this relationship encompasses a lot, communication, emotion, the physical intimacy, the action, the passion, the desire you're looking for. So there's really everything out on the table here. I feel like everything is going to come to surface with this person. Their background, their past, your past, secrets, anything you've held on to and that you've gone to bed with that night, Gemini, you're going to reveal to this person is what I'm seeing. And maybe this is why you eventually, either one person is more dominant or the other drifts apart or something like this, potentially for some of you. Not all though, for some of you, there is an engagement happening. And this person can be very, you know, it's someone you respect a lot and love a lot and admire. And likewise, you know, not everyone will experience this. So don't get caught up on this. I know this is what you're looking at, this top row going, oh, you know, we got such a bad reading. No, this is, you know, this is pessimism coming into play here. This is your mind seeking out the negative. Um, let's extract the good. There's emotional intensity. Things can move very quickly. You'll learn about yourself and other people in the process. This can potentially lead to, um, lead to a beautiful long-term commitment. The five comes before the six and the five is feeling left out in the cold. The six comes after and this is all about restoring balance or attempting to restore balance, which is possible. Um, and things can happen again very quickly. The Knight of Swords carries this impulsive, very fast energy. Um, sometimes I feel like in this relationship, words will be said, 
whether it's like I love you, let's move in together, let's date, let's become exclusive, words will be said before someone actually means them. So I just don't want you to rush anything, Gemini, because this does have the potential to be long term, but the pentacles in the corner here are really pointing to the fact that it must be taken slowly. I think stability is very important here. Stability and taking it slow will lead to something long term. I'm seeing if there's too much that gets done in a very short amount of time, you know, sometimes things fall apart or there's a delay or we have to start again or it's harder to, I guess, control in a way because the Knight of Swords is impulsive. He says before he speaks, uh, sorry, he speaks before he thinks. And I'm wondering if one of you will commit and not be able to actually, you know, you can walk the walk, or you can talk to the talk, but you can't actually walk the walk. So I'm wondering if this will be um, coming in for some of you. But for others, I feel like you're going to get engaged or move in very quickly after you meet. There's some things that will happen very suddenly and suddenly your, um, your relationship encompasses so much. It's exactly what you're looking for. You're ready to settle down, to change your life for this person. So it's a beautiful intensity down here as well. Let's have a look at what they're wanting. But I do, I feel like your biggest obstacle in these cards is one-sided generosity, someone moving faster than the other. So pacing. Pacing is the most um, pivotal thing for you in this relationship. Okay, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. They definitely want you to fight for them. The Ace of Swords is about battle, is about encouragement, is about support. Um, I feel like they want you to follow through with your words. So again, I'm wondering if it's you that's rushing, thing before, rushing things before you're actually ready to commit, Gemini. You may express that you're ready for certain things when deep down you're not on some level. So they're wanting you to, you know, the words that you speak, they're wanting to see the action because the King of Pentacles rules the physical and is a person of action and follows through. So if you're leading this relationship and you're telling them you want victory and you want them and you want to move in or you want to do this in this relationship you'll have to back it up is what i'm seeing they want to see there has to be proof in the pudding so to speak with the king of pentacles energy um because they are wanting stability there's lots of pentacles i'm not dealing i'm not sure if you're dealing with an earth sign here or whichever sign you're dealing with but they have earth energy or they um, exhibit the traits of an earth sign though so they could be quite stubborn very grounded like things at a stable pace aren't very adaptable or at least not very easily it takes them more time to adapt so you need to exercise patience with this gemini but the king of pentacles for the most part it is someone that's wanting something long-term with you right through to the end. This is the last king of the deck. Um, I also feel like it's very, their friends, their family, their, their social circle is very important to them and they want you to blend in. They want you to fit into that circle. Um, I think it's someone that might have a lot of friends, might have a lot of associates, might be very social, similar to you. And they want that they're going to introduce you to a lot of people and they want you a part of that world. You know, the three of the three of cups is, they want you to approve of, of the friends they have. You know, there's there's a need for approval, especially with the judgment card next to it. I think they, they need you to approve or they need your approval. They want your approval in some regard here. It could be from family. It could be from friends. Either way, they want your feedback. They want you to know that with the judgment card, they want to embrace everything you can express to them. So I think they're quite open in this sense. Um... But again, the judgment card speaks of support and encouragement and advocation. So I feel like this person wants you to advocate, um, you know, their beliefs, champion their beliefs, be supportive in front of family and friends. You know, this is, they need someone to back them up, so to speak. I think to know that someone is in support and can agree with them is great, but, you know, just make sure this person isn't taking advantage of that. You know, you've got that ability to do that, Gemini, just make sure they're not taking too much advantage of you um, is all I want to say. So look, I will leave it at that. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching.